Hello, welcome back to The Roman Co. I'm Rebecca, and today we are gonna talk about five style mistakes that you may be making. Yes, you heard that right. I'm talking about five style mistakes that you could be making in your wardrobe and with your daily looks. As a personal stylist, I've been in people's wardrobes both physically and virtually, and I've seen some common themes with style mistakes. So I'm here to share them with you and how to avoid those mistakes. Okay, style mistake number one. You feel that you are too old to be stylish. Okay, now I want you to get that out of your head right now. There is no such thing as old with style. <laughs> style has no age limit. You wear what makes you feel like you. So I want you to take a look at a few people. Um, Iris Apfel. And if you don't know her, you definitely should. She is a style icon and has been for years. Carla Rockmore, who has recently been identified as the Carrie Bradshaw of TikTok. I'm probably going to mispronounce her name, Grease Ganem. So stylish. Definitely follow her on Instagram. And Lynn Slater, the accidental icon on Instagram. Definitely follow these ladies. They are inspirational and they do not believe that style has an age. They're all over 50 and they are rocking their style. Style mistake number two, you are hiding behind your clothes. Here, I'm gonna tell you a little secret. You wanna know what it looks like when you hide behind your clothes? It looks like you're hiding behind your clothes. You don't wanna look like that. And I get it, we all have features and things that we want to you know, hide a little bit or diminish. But when you use clothes to hide them, it looks like you're hiding your body, which I guess you are, but it looks that way. So instead of using clothes to hide the parts that you don't like, use your wardrobe to emphasize the things that you do like. Maybe it's your legs, maybe it's your beautiful eyes. Whatever it is, dress for the parts of your, yourself that you love and you want to emphasize. I will tell you, no one's gonna, when you do that, no one will pay attention to the thing that you're trying to hide. Style mistake number three, you are chasing trends rather than understanding your personal style. I get it, trends are exciting, they're fun. However, when you have a wardrobe full of trends, your wardrobe is very short-lived and it may not actually be the things that work well on you. Instead, I want you to focus more on honing in on your personal style. When you do that, you're gonna build a wardrobe of things that you love, that last you for years, and you'll be able to identify the trends that actually work with your personal style and work for you. Style mistake number four, your wardrobe is not cohesive. I always say a curated wardrobe acts like a synchronized dance. They all work, all the pieces work and flow together smoothly and with each other instead of clashing with each other and fighting for your attention. Now I've seen this. I've seen people who buy a ton of prints and prints that don't mix well together or a ton of colors and colors that don't mix well together. It just makes it challenging to wear and rewear your wardrobe. So instead, focus on pieces that work well with your wardrobe. So when you go out shopping, I want you to think with each piece that you are potentially gonna buy, does this work with my existing wardrobe? Can I style this in at least three ways with my existing wardrobe? And I will let you know when you can do that, your wardrobe will become more cohesive and more curated. Style mistake number five, you are not dressing for yourself. Yes, believe it or not, people dress for other people or for social media. It is a thing. But when you do that, when you dress for somebody else or because you think somebody else likes what you're wearing, you don't look as good as you could. 
When you dress for yourself, you look confident, you feel good about yourself, you feel like yourself. Your style is a representation of you. It's how you want the world to see you. So when you look like you, you always look better. So I will say always dress for yourself. And if somebody else likes your outfit, that's a bonus. <laughs> but always dress for you because you will always feel much better. That is it. Five style mistakes that you could be making and how to avoid them. I think I'm gonna make a part two because I have a few more that I wanna talk through. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below or hit me up on Instagram at therealm.co. I'm always happy to answer any questions. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I always appreciate your support and it means so much to me. Until next time, friends, wear what you love. <laughs>